exciting day today. We are going to rip out most of the winter garden and get these wonderful seedlings put into the ground. I am very, very excited because these are really, really ready to go. These are the best looking seedlings I have ever grown. And I really hope they're going to thrive once they get into the ground as well. So what I'm going to do now is actually just sort out what needs to get onto the veggie patch, what needs to stay here. Because some of this stuff, like these tomatoes, are extras that I'm not going to use. And so I'm going to give these to my parents and they're going to take them up to their property. So I don't need to take them down to the garden. Um, but some of these things like these artichokes, we can actually plant out down there as well because uh, they're ready to go into. So it's a little bit of organising and then we'll get down to the patch. These rosella plants are really ready to be planted but I don't know if the temperatures are quite warm enough yet. I need to actually have a look a bit of research into these and see if they can handle our temperatures. We're currently getting down to about eight degrees ish at night. Um, we might do okay with that. Um, we're certainly warm enough at the day. It is hovering around uh, 27 to 29 degrees at the moment. The rest of these are flowers that I'm going to deal with another time. So, I think we might have everything we need to take down. I'm just going to take these out and put them aside and we will go there by bed and work out what we're taking out. I'm going to start this further thing. I'm going to start down here on this bed first because this is the one that is most in the bees flight path and uh, I want to get it done early before they really get going for the day although it looks like they're pretty active already. So these were all just Chinese greens, Asian greens that um, we grew kind of a filler while this bed was waiting for its summer crops and um, I think I'll use most of the go to the chickens. Uh, we've eaten quite a lot of them but I don't think I'll plant the Asian green mix again. I think I'll just plant the straight pak choy because we really like pak choy but these other ones that have like mustard those sorts of things we're not as big a fan of so that's okay taking hey, chicken food okay so we've got looks like a red pak choy and a normal one in here that haven't bolted yet which is quite surprising I guess because they were smallest and they were shaded underneath all the other plants so I'm going to leave those in and we will probably eat those in the next couple of days um, very interestingly this is the sweet potato that had the most sun this sweet potato is hidden under all the other plants and it has hardly taken off whereas this one is like huge so just goes to show, which we all know. Uh, having that sun is really important. Okay, so this very sad looking zucchini, I think, can probably come out. It has done absolutely nothing for us. Actually, nothing. I don't think we even got one fruit off of it. So I'm going to take it out and put something else in its place. Um, yeah. I don't think there is anything to come out of this 
bed. Uh, it's already planted up with some beans. These um, sugar sap peas are still going. Swiss chard, silver beet is still going. Beetroot is still going. This is very sad looking zucchini. Uh, we'll leave it for a bit longer and see what it does. Hmm. We'll see. We might take that out for something else. We'll have a look. Uh, so let's get onto this bed. We've got broccoli in here. That's we're going to take out. The aphids in this broccoli. So we will take it up soon. Out. Interesting, this broccoli doesn't seem to be producing side shoots. Um, even where there was a little one left that I chopped the main head off of bulb, they're not growing. So I'm just going to take them out. Um, we need the space for other things now. This very sad looking patty pan squash is going to come out as well, but I'm going to take its little male flower that we've got here and I'm going to go and hand pollinate a couple of zucchinis. Even though I'm sure that the bees have already been out it this morning, it's just kind of an extra security. The zucchini is the one um, in our first garden bed and it is the only one that's reduced for me this season so far. But it hasn't done amazing however i've noticed this morning probably because i was about to pull it out it's decided to throw out two flowers with fruit so let's get in and pollinate these and let's see if we can get any fruit okay so i'm going to take the male flower that i took off the other plant because this one does not have any male flowers um, today so we have to use one of the other plants and then I've taken all the petals off and then we will just rub this on the um, female flower and see if we can make any zucchini babies. Okay, this is the last step that needs to be um, cleared. We've got a couple of broccoli in here that again are going to come out. Some more Asian green and some bold lettuce. This lettuce actually does not appear to be bolted, so we might be able to leave that one. So first thing in this garden bed in terms of switching it over to the next crops is, well, we're not touching these snow peas, they are still going. Probably haven't got a lot of time left, but um, we'll see how long we can keep them going. But I have got a tomato down here that um, self-seeded and I am going to transplant it because it's doing really, really well. And I'm going to put it down with my other couple of tomatoes because um, this is going to be the zucchini bed. in this garden bed now the end one again and you can see we've got two tomatoes along here and we've got a cape gooseberry there is a bit of a gap between these two tomatoes and the gooseberry so i think we're going to put it in there hopefully we've got enough room Awesome. 
love finding worms in my garden beds. Okay, so now we're going to strip off these bottom leaves so that we can bury this a little bit deeper. So I'm going to come through and uh, take off a few more of these bottom leaves, I think, just to stop them touching the ground, because that's where you get a lot of your disease from. Now, I don't know if this is a determinate or indeterminate variety of tomato, because this was um, a volunteer. And it's already taken off with two main shoots because yeah, it grew on its own and I was not checking on it. So I'm going to just leave it and see what happens. We've got a couple of flower clusters starting, so hopefully it won't be too long and we'll find out what sort of plant it is. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna put in. I'm pretty sure this is a Bikini Cocazel, as is that one. My labelling kind of, I lost track of things on the way. Certain that the end one is a golden zucchini, and it has its little fruit starting to develop already, so it definitely needs to get in the ground. I think this bed, I'm probably only going to have space for, like, well, I mean, I've got one already hanging over the edge, so if I hang this one over this edge, and probably what I should do is space these ones a bit more like, like that. I'll give like half of the bed each to those two with these two trailing out. And we'll see how that goes. I'm going to just leave these couple of letters in here and uh, they can you know finish their life um, here because probably not going to be too long till they bolt with our hot weather that we've got coming. So let's get these ones into the ground and then we will move on to the next bed. I think I might do a layer of uh, potting mix on top of this bed since I've got it mostly empty. Seems like a good opportunity to top it up a little. Even though this one's not too bad, the other ones down there have really sunk a lot. So you can probably see the big bend in this garden bed. Uh, I do like these beds. They are pretty cheap ones off Amazon. This is the first one we put in and we realised before we did the rest of them that they needed a bit more support than paying standard with the kit. So one day I will probably have to dig all this out and fix this bed, put a bit of extra support in. Um, but for now we're just Dealing with the wonky shape, it still works. Really quite proud of these because these have been fully grown from seed and uh, they are looking really, really good. I, they do have a touch of powdery mildew, so I am going to mix up some potassium bicarbonate today. I'm going to look up the mix to rate this time and make sure I don't mix it too strong, and we will spray them on these leaves and see if we can get on top of the powdery mildew. down in the capsicum and chili bed for this season and I have four capsicums and chilies that I'm going to plant. I've already got three capsicums in this bed. Uh, they are California Wonders. They made it through the whole winter. They are producing fruit. I actually need to put some bags on some of those fruits, fruits today to protect them from the uh, Queensland fruit fly. 
but I've got a few more to put in. So we've still got some carrots and some lettuce um, in this bed. Um, and I don't have enough capsicums and chilies to fill it all up at this stage. Um, it's one thing I've been struggling a bit with starting from seed. So we'll just plant these ones. Might end up buying a few from the nursery a bit later on, but that'll be fine. Weed. So I've got three Marconi capsicums here. I'm going to plant them along this end. And then I've got one Anaheim chili, which is honestly probably enough chili for us anyway. Um, I might buy one more variety or something. Um, and I'm just going to plant that in another row um, with space to put two more in. Now capsicums do not like the cold. Um, and we are still getting down to, I think I said it earlier in the video, um, sort of that 8 to 10 degrees mark, which I think is probably technically still a bit too cold for um, capsicums. But having said that, the uh, capsicums we've got out here have survived out here all winter. We get down to like, I don't know, we've had a couple of just negatives, so like negative one or negative two. Um, and they survived that without any extra protection. They fruited with that, so uh, maybe they can do it. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to put these out and see what happens. Because I'm kind of sick of looking after them. <laughs> more cucumbers that are really ready to get out of their um, little pots uh, so I'm just going to continue my cucumber trellis and put three more here the other cucumbers we planted probably about uh, two weeks ago um, are doing really really well so I'm excited to get some more going because my daughter in particular absolutely loves cucumber so Basically, whatever we grow, she will eat. We should have planted the cucumber before I planted the uh, capsicum. I've got a volunteer cucamelon too by the looks of it coming up here. Weren't really a big fan of the cucamelons, so um, I'm gonna keep an eye on them. If they look like they're starting to take over the cucumbers, I'm going to take them out uh, because I would much prefer a proper cucumber over a cucamelon. Well, that's it for now. My son has woken up from his nap, so I'm going to go up and hang out with him. And then hopefully we can get back down here sometime to finish this off. That would be great. So this is what we've got left in the uh, seedlings that I brought down. I've got some basil here, which I'm thinking I might put a few down here and then the rest are hopefully going to go up in the planter, the herb planter near the house. I've got three artichoke that I need to get in. They're probably the next things I should plant. This is a zucchini that I don't know where I'm going to stick. And then we've got some pumpkins. But again, I'm not sure where they're going to go. Oh, what's this? Oh, there's a little capsicum that we missed. So that can go in now. That's the mini red. It's not looking amazing, but it can go in. And then we've got some... Uh, spring onions that I guess I can find a spot for as well. 
mini red capsicum can go in here in this second row. So I'm just going to continue my line of artichokes along this way. This is just a bit of potting mix. We're going to continue the just shove the plants in wherever mentality and uh, stick these pumpkins in along this bank here next to the artichokes. They can then spill down this rock wall here and continue to fill in that area that I want the other pumpkins to fill in. So, um, good work. It's terrible soil here though, so I am going to put a bit of potting mix in. The holes and see if that will help them along. There you go. You're a big rock down there. Okay, that's better. Okay, first ones is the Queensland Blue. So with the basil that I have started, I grew a variety mix and then also a heap of this lettuce leaf basil. I love lettuce leaf, leaf basil, so thinking I might put all of these um, up at the house uh, for easy access. I might put this mix down here since I don't know what they are. I think, like, I'm pretty sure that one's a Thai basil. Um, but the rest of them I'm not sure, so I think I might just plant them in amongst the zucchini down here and we'll see how they go. I'll take one out that I think is a Thai basil. Oh, there's another worm! It's very encouraging to be seeing worms in these garden beds. I see if you like the soil is starting to head in the right direction. Put, I might put this pretty purple one in the middle here. That one smells maybe like it might be like a lemon basil. And that one just smells like a normal basil. What's this one? Ooh. Cinnamon basil maybe? Hmm, interesting. Okay. Okay. I think I might put one of the uh like the lemon or the cinnamon, cinnamon down here. Okay, let's try taking out some of these that are done and uh, put them basil in since we don't have any strawberries at the moment to uh, fill those gaps with. Okay, so that means that all I've got left to find a spot for at the moment is this random zucchini, don't know what variety it is, and these spring onions. 
So, I reckon I can stick spring onions in here somewhere. And then we'll go shove their zucchini down where we pulled one out today, maybe. This basil in here and the zucchini, this is the one that, the old zucchini that's draping over the edge. So I'm thinking I'd just plonk the spring onions in here. Maybe I do them as a line along the front. Maybe that'd be more sensible. There doesn't seem to be a huge number in here. So let's make a bit of a spot for them. They should write themselves. Now we can try and train it over the side as well. If it lives, that is. The other one didn't do any good in that spot. Okay, well, back down here again for the third time. My son is napping again. So I've just got some more bags and I'm going to put the fruit and these uh, California Wonder capsicums in these bags. That's to protect them from the Queensland fruit fly, which is probably one of our worst pests that we have in this area, apart from the cockatoos and the possums but in terms of insect pest the uh, Queensland fruit fly is a nasty one it will basically destroy any of your fruits like tomatoes capsicums um oh, like my nectarine tree we've had to cover um basically anything that's soft um little plants will end up looking very funny um, with all their little bags on them but the alternative is to cover the uh, entire plant and yeah that's not great kind of found that with tomatoes and things like capsicums it's easier just to cover the individual fruit I don't seem to bother the uh, cherry tomatoes as much for some reason. Well, they only really come out when it starts to get hot as well. Well, that's it for today we got a heap of stuff planted and we got it all watered in and put the sugarcane mulch on it just to give it a bit of protection from the upcoming heat and we are slowly getting there with what we need to get done for spring but i'm really pleased with what we got done and i am looking forward to seeing how all of these go very excited about getting some more cucumbers in and about the basil and we'll see what happens with the zucchinis <laughs> You never know. Okay, I will catch you on the next video. Bye guys. I think they're still learning what deliciousness will come from the garden. 
they get there eventually, but they're not like super excited when I throw something over yet. Coming to investigate puzzle. Some yummy greens. Maybe later. Look how neat and tidy all the garden beds look now that they've got their mulch on. Really pleased with how they're looking. Since I've got a couple more minutes, I might just throw this uh, lettuce leaf puzzle. Look at those gorgeous big leaves. And these are small ones. They'll get even bigger. Um, I might throw this in this herb planter out the front of our house um, so that we've got them close to hand. Might have to plant the last two lettuce leaf basils down the garden in the veggie patch somewhere just in case the uh, possums you know, take a liking to it because they're more likely to get it in this planter than they are down there. Although I'm sure they can get into that, into those garden beds as well.